such pain. Such despair. Okay. Someone's a glutton for punishment. Huh? Just like me. Hey, Menace. <laughs> See what I tell you, I'll chat. Dare you. How dare you return here? Be gone, servants of evil! And by the way, Menace, I didn't start it this time. I did not start it. You took everything. You destroyed everything. You monsters! I will never forgive you! I'm keen to have a wee but, chat with our friend here, but something tells me he's got other things in mind. You don't say, Rab. <laughs> All right, here we go. The restless night draws near. <laughs> Silvando's outfit is still uh, blocking my view of people. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna put myself over here so you guys can see what's up, because I'm gonna switch to manual. And I need to move myself. I need to be moved. Right there. Put myself right about there. All right, tactics. Follow orders, everybody. Let's fight. All right. Uh, let's start off with a metal slash. Okay, we'll see how that compares to the rest of this shit we're gonna be doing. Um... See if we can poison him. Mm, he's actually not poisoned. Right? Ow! <laughs> Fucking shit. And now I'm cursed. Great. Okay, uh, let's see. Right as rain. Apparently we're gonna fucking need that. <laughs> right, Alex? <laughs> What a strange person here. Um, this parallax. You shall not prevail. Ooh, that is a lot of damage. He does a lot of damage right back at me. And he's pepped up. That's some bullshit. Oh my god, that's some bullshit. I'm gonna do a multi heal here. Okay, it's a little bit better. Now, as for Rab, yeah, Pearly Gates, Pearly Gates, this asshole. Kind of hoping it would do more damage than that, but I guess not. That's a fair amount of damage. But uh, Hendrix one parallax move does that much damage between the two of them combined, and then some. So just fucking saying. Um, here, let's. Well, you know what? No, we're gonna accelerate let's a lot. Get a move on. It did, Alex. It was my penis. That was a sneak preview of my peen. Um, let's frizz him? Uh, sizz him? Frizzle, there we go. All right, and Zam, I guess, right? Or Zamel? Mm. Yeah. Ooh, that does a lot of damage. Intimidating scream? Oh shit. We are cursed. Great. Alright. Um hmm. Hendrick, what can you do for us here? I guess just keep wailing on him. Keep on fucking wailing. <laughs> One. <laughs> okay, it's not that big. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, let's see. Mm, I feel like this is more MP efficient, but eh. I should also probably try Pelican Flash on the 
damage that does too. While I still have MP left. I'm blowing through my MP like it's nobody's business. Uh, let's accelerate us again. Uh, right. Heat bomb parallax and haze. Uh, again, we we're working through for sure. Uh oh. Oh no. Vegamar's not looking so good over there. He needs the heals. He needs the heals. Alright, let me try a Falcon Slash on this dude. See how much it does. Oh, get wrecked, motherfucker. Get fucking wrecked. And the fucking rectum. We just got the tip. <laughs> oh no. Alright, um. The darkness consume you! Doesn't do a whole lot. You might have a resistance to darkness. Abilities, parallax. I feel like he's almost dead. He, he's getting really close to being dead here. Uh, slash. Oh, he blocked one. Shit, that sucks. That really sucks. Um. Hmm. Better do another right as rain, just in case, because my regen is actually about to expire on three out of my four characters. And that would be super shitty. Uh, right. We've already accelerated. We could decelerate him. Steep off him real quick. Oh no, Rad fucking fell asleep. Oh, I might actually wake him up. Let's see. No, he fucking slept through that? How does one sleep through that? That's some bullshit. That is some fucking bullshit. Alright, let's try Falcon Slash again. Alright. 150 damage. Uh, okay. Abilities. Yeah, let's do the toxic shit again. I wonder if it is even possible to poison him. Not so sure it is. He slipped off the power of that. I am disappointed. I am disappointed. Alright, uh, parallax again. Yes, finally. Holy shit. Alright. Not bad at all. That guy could take a lot of damage. A lot of damage. There's life in the old dog yet. Got that level up? No, we need to we need to spend our <laughs> hit point. Or I mean our power point soon. <laughs> Pain. You took my beloved Eleanor. You took my boy. I will never forgive you. Wait a second, wasn't Eleanor? Eleanor, but oh, that's no. the old queen's name, which would make you ah, <gasps> Daddy. Erwin, last king of Dundrasil, just as I thought. A great man, and a fine warrior too, as you've just witnessed. And, most importantly of all, your father. I'm sorry the two of you had to meet like this. I mean, he was dead, so it's like, otherwise we wouldn't have met at all, so... <clears throat> he asks as if there's only one Eleanor in the world. Maybe there is. Maybe Eleanor is a super uncommon name. You know, Alex? How many Dagenmars are in the world? <laughs> You heard that so many times uh, for them to be uh, cunts. Yeah, 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 right? Like, oh, there is such a good person. And then, like, in reality, like, no, not really. They're kind of a dick. <laughs> you met one in your EverQuest 2 game. It's funny. Probably around six. 69. Oh, shit. <laughs> Alex, were you going to put 69 too? Oh, no. 
<laughs> what happened to you, Erwin? Come on, laddie. Look at me. The fuck? What in the... At last you have come. Long have I waited for a kindly soul to free my restless knight from his misery. Ah, uh, okay. The voice from the dream. You are correct, of course. Before you, Niels Erwin, King of Dundrasil. All those long years ago, on that darkest of days, he fought to the last. The light of justice sustained him. And he refused to yield to the darkness. Literally, the only reason why I know that this is the seer is because of how fucking slowly she talks. <laughs> but with time, that light has waned. And all that remains is the tortured soul you see before you. Lost between light and dark, life and death. I beg of you. Help him. Free him from his nightmare. Shine the light of hope into the darkness of his despair. The voice? It's gone again. Who is she? That'll have to wait. Erwin here needs our help. But what are we supposed to do to help him? Uh, I heard something about sticking something into his darkness. Um, I'm just gonna say not it, seeing as how I'm like literally his son. <laughs> uh, her help him lasted two more seconds than it needed to. It sure did, Italo. It's ridiculously slow how slow she talks. I just can't. Such pain, such despair. You took my Eleanor, my Dagenmar. You destroyed everything. I will never forgive you. Uh, move in closer to listen. Yes. As he steps forward, Dagenmar is suddenly transfixed by the void inside his father. Okay. Oh no, man. Right, Alex? <sighs> Do I smell fresh meat? It's been a while. Years, in fact. These monsters mm. are obsessed with meat. Much like me. Well then, I need to make you nice and miserable <laughs> before I devour your tender torment. Watch and despair. Yes, devour me. There's such pain, <sighs> such anguish. I am in Alabama. helpless, powerless, bound by the chains of regret. Aw. So, is there something inside of him that we have to fight? Oh no. We better not be back in the Sears place again. Okay, no, we're not. We're in the past or something. Of course. Okay. King Erwin. It is a great honor to be invited to celebrate this most special of days with you. The birth of your son and heir is a source of great joy and happiness to us all. Congratulations, your majesty. Thank you. Thank you. Aye, this is a momentous day for Dundrasil. I am truly humbled to be lucky enough to celebrate it with you all. Uh, so, Dad looks a little bit, um, 
What's the word I'm looking for here? Dandy? Maybe maybe a little bit is a, is a little bit dandy. My dear Sultan, King Gustav, allow me to welcome you both to Dundrazil. You honor us with your presence. King Gustav, that must be from Sniffelheim, I think. That must be what's her face's dad. The honor is all ours, King Erwin. Truly, it has been far too long. A thousand thanks for preparing such lavish festivities. Though, of course, we are not here merely to celebrate. Today's Colloquy of Kings shall determine the fate of Erdrea for generations to come. I, for one, mean to see that my people's interests are well represented. You will forgive me if I grow a little passionate at times. It is the first time the rulers of the Four Kingdoms have ever gathered under one roof, you know. A momentous occasion indeed. But the reason itself is a momentous one, of course. The birth of an heir to the title of Luminary is an event of unparalleled significance. Indeed it is. Thank you once again for agreeing to meet so readily. Now, I have some final preparations to make before we convene the colloquy. I will come and fetch you when we're ready to begin. Guards, I don't suppose any of you have seen King Carnelian? Hmm. Yes, sire. King Carnelian is walking the grounds with Lord Robert, sire. Hmm. Interesting. He looks related to Silvando, to be honest. He does, right, Dammy? A little bit. A little bit, right? Hmm, something's going on there. <laughs> but can we talk to these people? The rulers of all four kingdoms brought together for a great summit. There will be fireworks, I am sure. And luckily for me, I have a front row seat. Uh, okay. Soldier doesn't move a muscle. He doesn't seem to be aware of Dagomar's presence. What about you? How does it taste? How is the food, sir? Top nosh is simply delicious. See, he can hear me. He can fucking hear me. The luminary of legend, the one who once saved Erdrea from the ancient evil. He bore a mark upon his hand, the mark of light. And now Prince Dagomar is here. I literally almost said princess. Like Princess Dagenmar is here, and he bears the same mark. Not that we've seen it yet, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let's go. Les skedaddle. King Carnelian, Lord Robert, I will be convening the colloquy shortly. If you'd like to make ready. Lord Robert informs me that the boy bears the mark. That he is the luminary reborn. That's right, I. I've decided to present him to you all at the colloquy. The sight of so many people gathered to celebrate his birth has brought home to me how important he is. How much hope the light he brings represents. I'll save it for the meeting, Owen. Hmm. So curt. Rude. Don't take it to heart, laddie. The fate of all Erdria hangs in the luminary now. Not everyone's going to be happy about that. Right, it's nearly time. Why don't you go and fetch the wee one from Eleanor's chambers? We're Princess Dagomar now? Sorry, oh no. Oh no. That's okay. I'm used to it. Kappa, kappa, kappa. All right. Oh, there they go. King Erwin, King Carnelian, and Lord Robert, all off upstairs. I suppose the Colloquy of Kings will be getting started soon, then. Yep, let's go upstairs. Actually, no, let's go downstairs. The game's telling me to go one way. I'm definitely going to go the other way, just because that's how I am. I'm friends with all the royal families, you know. I could introduce you to a prince or two if you're interested. Oh, my God. He's trying to... He's trying to take her to Pound Town. The door won't budge. Of course it won't. Of course it went. This castle is really pretty, though. It's a shame what happened to it. We can open some of the doors. That's crazy. I'm a ghost opening doors. 
Sir Hendrik of Heliodor. He's the one everyone's talking about. The finest young knight in all Erdrea, or so they say. And I can see why. I just walked past him down in the dungeon, and every... And he's every inch a hero? The man's gonna change the world, I'm sure of it. I just walked past him... Down in the dungeon... And he's every inch... A hero. I think we all know what kind of dungeon he's talking about there. I, mean, I think I should go check out that fucking dungeon. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. <laughs> it's ridiculous. <laughs> uh, King Erwin was not born into royalty. He was an ordinary man who became a knight, the best in the kingdom. Then one day he rescued Princess Eleanor from some monsters and the rest is history. If that's not an inspirational story, I don't know what is. Maybe one day I'll get to... It, what am I saying? I didn't come at night so I could meet some pretty lassie. I believe in the pledge, and that's why I've got to keep my training my hardest. Okay. Uh, this is killing me. Hmm. We've been uh, getting sent out to fight monsters all over the place recently. I hope this isn't a sign of evil. Oh, if you had any fucking idea. <laughs> I wonder if I can loot stuff here. There's pro I doubt there's going to be anything in here. Right? Oh my god, there was! I, was like, I can take shit from the past? What kind of bullshit is this? Ah, I cannot believe it. Lord Robert's been hiding his magazines under the bed again. Oh my god! Yeah, look, there it is! One of his dirty mags! It's only been a few days since Queen Eleanor confiscated the last lot. Oh my god. Fucking a horny old man. Listen, don't mess with a man's porn, alright? Very important. Very important. <laughs> uh oh. That's me. Oh, he's so tiny. Can I touch him, Lady Eleanor? I promise I'll be careful. Hmm. <laughs> I think he likes you, Jade. He wants to play. <laughs> He's a very special boy, you know. They call him the Luminary. People have all sorts of hopes for him. But I just hope he grows up to be like his father. That he can help people to overcome their problems. Just as Erwin does. I have no idea what the point of all this is just yet. I hope he grows up to be nice and kind like you, Lady Eleanor. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is this when it happens? Oh my god, it is. Oh right, they're doing the council when all this shit hit. King Erwin! <laughs> The colloquy's about to start, Eleanor. Will you hand me the wee one? This is... this ties back to the beginning of the All game. Alright, wee man. Let's go and talk to some scary old men, shall we? Don't worry. Daddy will look after you. <laughs> oh, Erwin. You don't need to hold on to him so tight, you know. Let the poor boy breathe. Would you look at it thundering away out there? And on such a special day, too. It's making me feel uneasy. Come on now, Eleanor. There's nothing to worry about. We'll keep you safe no matter what, won't we, wee man? And what about me, hmm? Hey, you don't need me to protect you, Jade. You've got King Carnelian. Your dad's a force to be reckoned with, and no mistake. <laughs> right. We better get this meeting started. I'll see you later, Eleanor. Hmm. Good luck. Both of you. Eleanor is gonna die today. It's really sad. 
I'm going to be your big sister, Dagomar. Let's play together all the time when you get bigger. Aw. Is someone there? Who are you talking to, Lady Eleanor? There's nobody there. No, no, of course not. Sorry, dear. It's just... Well, it was the strangest thing. I know that Irwin's taken little Dagomar to the colloquy, but... It's as though I can still sense him here in the room. I felt his warmth. Ugh, but this isn't the time for that kind of nonsense. This is my wee one's big day. I mustn't let myself get distracted. Oh, wow, that's pretty crazy. Let's see if we can steal things from uh, mom and dad. I'm gonna go through their, their wallets and get some cash. Or gemstones, apparently. <laughs> There's a book called The Book of Erdwin. Dagomar takes it from the shelf and has a closer look. Chapter 1, Song of Beginnings. Oh no, it's a rhyme. Okay, here we go. World Tree's gift, first of many, bold, bright, blessed luminary. Thy light doth the shadow cast, lo, the dark one, bleak, black, vast. Song of Prayer. World Tree's foot, a plea, a prayer, ringeth through the mountain air. Babe is born, tree's will revealed, Serenica, luminary's shield. The book is filled with many more such important sounding poems. Dagomar carefully closes it. Hmm. I mean, if it tells the story of the first luminary, that would actually maybe be a little bit helpful. Maybe you shouldn't stop reading it, Dagomar, you illiterate fuck. I suppose the Colloquy of Kings will be starting soon, eh? Hey, do you remember which room they said to be in? What? Didn't you listen to a word of the briefing? It's in the room straight across from the throne room, you daft galoot. Ah, don't be so grumpy. I was just asking in case it all kicks off in there and we need to dash in to save the king. As if that's gonna happen. Well, I'm gonna check by the thrones real quick. There might be some uh, secret loots. No, it doesn't look that way. I wish Lord Robert had told me about the Book of Erdwin. Now I can't... Had never told me about the Book of Erdwin. Now I can't stop thinking about what it says about... No, I mustn't think about that. Today we celebrate the birth of Prince Dagomar and to heck with everything else. Wow. Oh my god. Dagomar, you fuck. Dagomar, go back and read the book, you fucking dolt. I swear to god. That's, that's frustrating. Puts on latex glove. What are you doing, Maymay? What are you up to? What kind of naughtiness are we getting into? 